hold, hold the front door. How many strawberries, now again, this isn't normal, but how many strawberries can you eat two big bites, big mouthfuls, like I got a big mouth, feel the food. Hey, let's go out in the field and pick some strawberries and show you how it's all done. Get on the machine, help pick strawberries, watch the guys pick strawberries and see an overview of the machine that we use to pick strawberries. Until we get out there in the field, enjoy the intro. strawberry field walk along we're gonna go way down here the whole way down to the end but every once in a while you got to stop and pick one and eat one and see if it's good probably not the uh, best shirt to be wearing today but oh well oh look over here looky look we got them coming and they're going to be coming for a while you see this we got red ones here we got flowers and we got flowers that didn't even open up so if this gets pollinated today it'll be another 28 days so we could be looking at we could be looking at strawberries for over a month that's pretty good so come on let's go get down on the strawberry machine You like the machine? <laughs> hey, what's that one? Uh oh, not quite ready now. That's all right, I'll eat it. Oops. So that was just a little overview there. So now I'm gonna really explain what this thing is. As you can see, right there is a drive wheel. It's run by this engine right here a hydraulic pump so basically we built this machine and it's about 25 or 30 feet and there's one bed there that we don't have set up right now there's a bed here a bed there and a bed there and basically if you can envision a massage bed if you're laying face down that's basically what it is they are basically laying down on the machine and that really helps uh, their backs our backs whoever wants to pick on this machine and a lot of people ask can you pick all day uh, not really about two or three hours on that machine it's time to get off uh, give your neck a little break there are headrests um, on the machine itself but about two or three hours it's time to get off box them up put them in flats and then our customers we ship them out to wholesale accounts people like you uh, we post on facebook social media and we've kind of been known for strawberries here in lancaster so we have a lot of customers so it's it's not too hard to uh to get rid of them uh again out here in the strawberry field and you guys are going to see more it's fairly windy today um, but i just wanted to get some video there's 21,000 plants out here, which is about two acres, acre and a half. And we go over every section about every other day. So there's five varieties out here and it starts over here and it keeps coming, keeps coming, different variety, keeps coming, different variety, different variety and different variety. As you can see, as you can see here, there's no, this is that Malwina that I talked about. They're only just now flowering. It'll be another two or three weeks for those. As you can see, this variety, 
some of them are just starting to turn red and they're starting to size up. As you can see with this variety, the ones they're picking, how far along they are. So you'll hear us say a lot of times about succession plantings. Strawberry varieties have the same things. They have, that's what they call days to maturity. So our AC Wendy that's back here, we've picked them three or four times already. We'll pick them about another three or four times. And now we're picking this variety, which is called Dar Select. And we go over across three or four different more varieties. What do you want, bud? What do you need? I need a Jeep. What do you need a Jeep for? Because we don't have a car. You don't have food. a car for what? Go to Target. What are you going to Target for? Groceries. Oh, strawberry season. Son wants to go to Target because this guy, AKA dad, hasn't been to the grocery store in about a month. So we either go out to eat or they got plenty of stuff right here to eat. Don't you have plenty of stuff right here to eat, Brayden? Or do you really need to go to Target? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Huh? So anyway, that's what we mean by succession plantings, as you'll hear us say that a lot, the different succession plantings. That helps us continue the crop throughout the season, supply you guys with whatever it may be, tomatoes, sweet corn, different kinds of peppers, strawberries, even fruit, apples, um, peaches. There's different types of varieties of, of vegetables and or fruit that ripen at different times throughout the season. So back to the strawberries um, and the machine, as you can still see, uh, they moved a good bit through here. Basically when they're picking, what they do is this is a rear view of the machine. Uh, Chalfie's up there picking, he's picking and he's putting them up in these boxes and then they just slide them back, the ones that are full back here. And then what we do after those boxes are slid back is we'll put them, transfer them into bread racks. We take them from the bread racks, the groups of 20, which is just easier for us to handle. Then we put them in strawberry flats, which are eight to the box. And then that's just the standard boxing, standard shipping container. I'm going to show you a view from what it looks like, their view of what it looks like picking on this machine. Oh, there's one other thing, even though it's a hydrostatic machine, uh, Carlos, which I was just over top of him showing you the view. He's actually driving the machine. You can see the red lever right here and then all this hydraulic hose. That turns this wheel right here, this hydraulic cylinder. Um, as you can see, the wheel is just slowly moving forward. Um, they can stop and start this machine. They can adjust the machine left or right. Um, but yeah, Carlos, which is on this bed, he is actually driving the machine. And here next week, we will add the other bed over here and the other bed over here. As the strawberries increase, so right now we've only been picking about a week, then there's what they call peak season for different varieties. And we'll end up having six people on this machine. If this machine, if you can envision, if it was twisted around going that way, those strawberries that, actually I'll just go back here and show you. It's a lot simpler. Sometimes I'm not the smartest guy in the world. So we'll have a guy walking right here and a guy walking right over there. And 
they will push these strawberries back that Carlos has on his side and we'll drop them right here and we'll box them up. So if you can envision one, two, three, four people in there, there's gonna be a lot of boxes. There's gonna be a lot of boxes of strawberries that come off this machine per hour. So um, it takes an extra two hands um, or two guys to help. And speaking of the guys to help, as you can see, they're coming. A bunch of people are coming. <clears throat> um, you know, when we started this YouTube channel, actually, it was that guy's idea, my son's. Um, it was for a couple of things. I'm known as the farmer. Um, so in our retail markets or just people know me as Farmer Jason, they ask me all kinds of questions. And I, I feel like I'm repeating myself sometimes. So we decided to do this YouTube channel. Uh, my boy, uh, my son Braden, when you see a lot of the drone footage, he's the one that flies the drone. He comes up with some cool ideas uh, to do. But the idea of this channel really, in, like in the last video, is we just want to be open, real and raw and relevant to you and show you how stuff is done. Um, a lot of our editing I do um, and it's it's real if we make a mistake if we have a crop failure we're gonna have a crop failure like right now I'm worried about this rain that's coming over there we have a ton of berries that uh, aren't quite ready to you they may look red but you see that white tip so hopefully we would like to pick that one Sunday but old Mr. Weatherman decided that we're gonna get about an inch of rain. So what we did today, and remember the real truth of knowing your farmer, we sprayed these. Um, we put a protection on, uh, we oxidated them, and sprayed a spray called Elevate. You can look it up. Uh, it's to control botrytis, which is a bacteria uh, it's a fungus that will, if you ever bought strawberries at a store from California or Florida that's been shipped 10 days and you see that little white fuzz on there, that's what that is, botrytis, gray mold. So hopefully by putting that protectant on here, we prevented that uh, mold and we'll get through this little stuff up there that we don't like in the produce world. So basically guys, that is how we pick our strawberries. I hope you enjoyed that, the openness of this channel. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the ins and outs of that machine. There's gonna be a couple more videos of this machine, but in the meantime, just watch these guys rock and roll on the machine. I hope you guys enjoyed that that little short clip of of how we pick strawberries again hit that subscribe button smash that subscribe button hit the little bell thing so it gives you notifications for when we release future videos that you'll get an alert and and share it and especially I know I say it in all the videos make sure you comment if there's any questions that you guys want anything hold the front door hold hold the front door look at this that's a pretty damn big strawberry and you know what that thing is why i do what i do surprises like that in the field crazy big fruit you know, American agriculture, agricultural in general in the world and is, a, is an amazing thing. We feed our own families with this food, so we try to be extremely sustainable to the earth, to the ground, 
and we don't do anything that we wouldn't want our children myself to eat so like i always said ask your farmer it's the point of this channel ask your farmer not google again i'm gonna get off the camera i'm gonna enjoy that sucker see you guys later look at that that's what i'm talking about oh didn't get any on my white shirt sweatshirt how many strawberries now again this isn't normal but how many strawberries can you eat two big bites big mouthfuls like i got a big mouth how many strawberries i still got two more bites that's number three and that's number four let's go see if we can find another one eh. that's a pretty nice one right there It's a pretty nice one. I'm done playing. Hit the subscribe button, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. And from the strawberry field, I can't do 76 and sunny. Actually, I can, I will. But somewhere up in there, somewhere up there in the sky is the sun that I always talk about. And just always remember that it's 76 and sunny somewhere. See ya. Leave the clothes on the floor. Tonight it's me on top of it. you want